Ready? Yeah. <laughs> He's ever get you guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, November 15th, 2011. Uh, we are in uh, Shady Valley, Tennessee. It's uh, close to the Appalachian Mountain Range in East Tennessee. Uh, this location uh, was uh, recommended to us by TWRA biologist Pete Wyatt uh, that this would be an ideal spot to release a golden eagle that we have rehabilitated. Uh, this golden eagle came to the American Eagle Foundation last year. Uh, it had got caught in two steel foothold traps uh, that a trapper was using to I guess trap fox or, or you know other types of predators. Uh, he was doing this legally, he had a permit to do it, but the traps were baited with uh, uh, deer meat and this golden eagle came down to try to get the deer meat. He stepped in one of the traps, got his small talon on one of his uh, legs, his left leg, caught in the trap. He struggled to get loose and there was another leg hold trap, uh, I guess a couple feet away and uh, he fell over and got his, his breast caught in that trap and then he struggled to get out of both traps. He tore his uh, uh, the flesh and his chest up substantially uh, so he had to be taken right away to the University of Tennessee Veterinary School in Knoxville and uh, he was initially treated there. He was then sent to the American Eagle Foundation for uh, recuperation and uh, continual treatment. Uh, UT uh, vets continue to be involved in, in treating the, the wounds. Uh, part of the toe ended up being amputated uh, because of the damage that was done to it uh, by the trap and uh, eventually of course the chest uh, area healed up. So today we are releasing this golden eagle that was caught in two steel leg hole traps and uh, we selected this area because of the habitat uh, being ideal uh, for golden eagles and, and their uh, the type of prey that they that they favor. Okay, there we go. Toss them up. Ready? Yeah. He's ever get you guys. I'm out of here. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there he goes. There you go. He's gone. <laughs> he looks like a bald eagle. Oh, he's yeah. up in that right. tree up there. He lit. Yeah. Can we walk through there and get a shot of him with the video? Is that a, whose property is that? Which is on the next green field here? Oh, He's cool. been thinking about that for a while. He moved, he moved onto another limb. He hopped over another limb. Uh, he's up on top of the tree, isn't he? Yeah, he's still... There he goes. Where is he? There he is. No, he's, he hopped to another limb in the same tree. I think he went to the other tree. Those are all pros. That's him. Yeah, he's done. He's done. He landed again in another one. I lost him. I don't know. In 1980. My name is Sterling Daniels. I uh, work with the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency as a surveys manager in East Tennessee out of Morristown. Um, here in, in the area, I do the uh, midwinter and the nesting surveys for the bald eagles, but uh, this year we're going to be doing something a little different and try to help out with the uh, golden eagle monitoring. And here in East Tennessee, we've selected about six sites that we're going to set up uh, cameras with the carcass staked down and basically uh, try to get a picture of a golden eagle traveling through. We don't have any known nesting sites here in Tennessee, so we're hoping to get some uh, more information on the eagles passing through, migrating through, and hopefully to possibly find a nesting area in East Tennessee. And uh, this, will, this study will also be done in uh, Middle Tennessee as well uh, to see if we can locate these eagles within the state. My name is Gabby Lynch, and this is Charles McQueen, and we work for the Nature Conservancy's Shady Valley office. And behind us is, is our Orchard Bog Wetland Restoration Site which is a 150 acre private nature preserve where the Nature Conservancy has been buying land and restoring wetlands since the mid 1990s. And things that we care about on this preserve are Southern Appalachian peatland wetland ecosystems, which are very rare and are only found in this part of the state. Cranberries that grow here, 
We have bog turtles, which is a federal threatened animal that lives only in Shady Valley in Tennessee. And we also have begun participating with golden eagle monitoring. We know that golden eagles are a very important species that used to spend more time in the southern Appalachians, but for reasons that we don't quite understand, um, they're not seen as often in the southern Appalachians anymore. And so our chapter is part of a much larger um, international effort, actually, Canada and the United States, to try to track where golden eagles are spending their time up and down the Appalachian mountain range. So uh, to that effect, we have used this nature preserve orchard bog as one of our monitoring stations in the wintertime and we set up cameras and try to catch golden eagles on film and add our data to the larger effort um, to figure out the migration patterns and life history and habitat preferences of the eastern golden eagle. Never get you guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Go here, look, watch them.